You're not going to escape working with your emotions. You're not going to escape your feelings. If you're emotionally illiterate and emotionally numb, you are dumber for it. And you're far more likely to fall into the blind spots of your unconscious because you're living in denial. The unconscious is, in some sense, the big no. This is the place into which I throw the things that I don't want. I don't want to look at that. Many people don't even realize how emotionally numb they are. You don't just have primary emotions that you're dealing with. You have a thing called meta emotions. So you have an emotion and then you have the emotions behind that emotion at a more nuanced descriptive level. But then you have meta emotions that are about the primary emotions and the emotions that you, you would say, if you said, I'm angry, you would become more nuanced and say, well, actually I'm sad, frustrated, disappointed, and I have a lingering sense of betrayal or, you know, whatever that is. And then you have how you feel about that. Those emotions are within you. They are unconscious. They come from the unconscious. They're primal. That's the level of id. That's the level of the animalistic response, the mammalian reptilian response, the fight, flight, freeze, and fawn response is coming from the emotions. The more you bin them, the more power they have. And the more you're living unconsciously, your emotions are a for a start, they are you. You can no more cut off ugly emotions, what you deem to be ugly emotions. You say, I don't want to feel anger. I don't want to feel jealousy. They interrupt my sense of who I am as a human being. I find the acceptance of those emotions shameful and humiliating. Okay, well, what, what would you do? Would you say, I don't like my hand? I'll just pretend it's not there. Or I'll tie, I'll tie, a, rubber band, I'll tie a band around it tightly so there's no blood flow to my hand. And I'll just ignore it. And I'll just let it knock into things. What would happen to your hand? You'd get sick. You'd get sick very, very quickly. You'd be in a lot of pain very, very quickly. You can't just tie off with ligatures bits of your emotions and say, oh no, that's not me. No, it is you. All of it is you. All of your lusts, all of your desires, all of your violence, the desire for vengeance, retribution, the desire to wound, to sadistically torture, all of these things are you. They don't shrink when they are suppressed. They don't disappear when they're disavowed. They're actually given power because there's power when a thing can operate undercover. 